Oh, hi, I'm trying to see how my hair would look if I had half my head shaved. I saw the super hot chick in Vegas who had it like that, and I was like, I should do that. I should not do that. Anyway, UFC 193 is this Saturday, and it's a big deal. It's like a really big deal. And if you don't know why, then I'm about to tell you. It is the first ever UFC pay-per-view event where women are the main event and the co-main event. And they're both title fights. We have the amazing Ronda Rousey, who is known for eating souls. We have Holly Holm, this incredible boxer. Valerie Letourneau and Ioanna Utrecek. Utrecek, I can never say that right. She's Polish and she's amazing. And this is nuts because previously, Dana White said that women would never fight in the octagon. And now here we are, an event that's gonna sell more tickets than if Jean-Claude Van Damme fought Jesus. Uh, but let's back it up a little bit. I work for the UFC. I do a little show called the UFC Minute every day. Watch it. Um, but still so many people when I say like I work for the UFC, they're like, the UFC, what's that? Ew, fighting is gross. So let me tell you a little story. So the first time I ever saw a UFC pay-per-view event a couple years ago, I sat there with my arms crossed and I was like, this is barbaric, who would watch this? This is so for boys. But then I watched the next pay-per-view event and it featured this big gigantic Viking named Alexander Gustafsson. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy is amazing. And he's a Viking. So after that, I kind of started to turn the corner and I realized what MMA was really all about. So if you don't understand it, here's a few reasons why you need to love fighting and MMA and UFC and all of it. So first you gotta start learning the personalities of these fighters. Stop seeing them as just meat bags trying to punch through each other's sternums and take time to learn something about the humans themselves because there are some really hilarious and likable fighters out there. Let me tell you about a couple of them. This is Donald Cowboy Cerrone. He wears a cowboy hat, he drinks exclusively Budweiser, even at press conferences, and days before his fight he can be seen shooting guns and wakeboarding and all sorts of crazy stuff that could get him very injured before his fight but he doesn't care, because he's a cowboy. This is Khabib Nurmagomedov. One time he fought a bear for reals, in real life. He fights bears. And sometimes he wears that wig. And this is Conor McGregor. He is a magical Irishman who wears three-piece suits, and he is an animal inside the octagon. Seriously, you need to YouTube Conor McGregor interviews because he is the best smack talker in the business. Next, girls especially, like, we have all these brand new reasons to love MMA. I feel like this is the first time that female fighters have really been put on a pedestal as not just women athletes, but athletes. Ronda Rousey, who's turned the world upside down, Misha Tate, who's a Seahawks fan, Washington represent, and Joanna Yudrechek, Yudrechek, who is very small and very scary, and I love her. So not only do we have these incredible female fighters to look up to and admire, but ladies, have you heard about the most beautiful fight coming up between Chris Weidman and Luke Rockhold? I'm calling this fight the Battle of the Ken Dolls because you have two gorgeous men who are gonna try to punch through each other's beautiful faces. No, don't punch him, he's too pretty. And they're just gonna rip each other's limbs off and it kind of reminds me of when I was little and I would rip the legs off my Ken Dolls. That's pretty much what's gonna happen. They're so pretty. So there's a little eye candy for you ladies coming up. Uh, I met Luke Rockhold, he's very sweet, and I totally made an ass of myself in front of him. So that felt good. So it's fun to look stupid in front of hot guys. And finally, once you start to learn the personalities of the fighters, then you get to enjoy the comedy stylings of Tommy Toehold, the cartoon host of the Tommy Toehold show. He does these hilarious sketches where he makes the fighters talk, but you won't understand any of it until you get into the sport and you get to know these fighters. So do that, and then it will become your favorite YouTube channel. So in conclusion, you need to buy UFC 193 or get yourself invited to somebody's house who is buying it and is also serving Cool Ranch Doritos. That's a plus, uh, because this will be a historic event in sports. And I love Holly Holm, but who knows, Ronda Rousey might walk in there, unhinge her jaw, and swallow her whole. I don't think it says anything in the rules about eating people, so they'll have to add in that clause after Saturday. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You wanna be part of this.